Today on The Breakfast, supporters of the People's Democratic Party, PDP and Adamawa State have taken to the streets of Yola, the state capital, in protest to demand the results of last Saturday's governorship supplementary elections. The now famous Moroccan footballer Ashraf Hakimi has been trending online for days, but why? We would analyze that today on the show. And also, don't forget, we would also be an analyzing the big stories on the newspapers today. Welcome to The Breakfast. My name is Nyamgul Agaji. Well, there are so many things that are trending, but the things that uh, have really caught our attention are like the woman who was arrested for allegedly selling off her baby to repay bank loan. Um, we have that story there. And uh, when she sold the baby, it was not with the consent of the father of the baby. And now the father of the baby is so distraught, is so heartbroken and all that. And we're asking ourselves the question, uh, why? Why would it be so, so difficult for the woman to pay the loan? What did she use the money for? And uh, what terms did she sign? Where, what terms of agreement did they have with the bank that loaned her the money? It's probably one of the loan sharks that we had, had been called nowadays, the online banking, that they give you the money very readily without collateral and all that. And after that, they make life so unbearable for you. And we keep asking the question, why are the major banks, why the, are the mainstream banks not having loan facilities that are as flexible as the ones that these loan sharks, as we've come to call them, um, why don't they have this kind of loan so that people can access them and give more time for repayment? For the loan sharks, for instance, if you borrow a hundred thousand naira, you are expected to start payment uh, in one week's time, even though what you borrowed the money to do is not, uh, has not matured enough for you to get back your money and start the payment, you are expected to start paying after one week. And if you do not <laughs> pay and then you default for some days, somehow they make your life so unbearable. They call all your friends on your contact list, they threaten you, they send your photograph to a lot of people. And so many people, it's a big shame to them. And some of them commit suicide. Some of them go through uh, to very, very um, extreme just to be able to remove that shame from themselves. Now this woman, a promising young child, has been sold just for that person to pay that loan. Uh, she may not even have collected that much, but because she's been defaulting, she's not able to pay, it keeps rising. Every day there's an interest that is terrible, and then it has reached up to maybe half a million. And a woman like that in the picture is definitely not going to be able to pay that money readily. Now, she sold the baby to pay. Well. While we blame the lady that she shouldn't have sold the baby, we should also be looking at uh, the reason she had to go to the extreme to sell this baby to pay the loan. Well, that's one story that we're, we are going to be looking at if we have someone who will be talking with us. We also have uh, this story about the aviation workers that have already begun their warning strike. They said two days. The strike was supposed to be for two days, and that means Yesterday that it started and today it's supposedly going to end. But these are basic things that should have been done, what they are calling for. And their excuse, their excuse was that, you know, these things have been on the table for a very long time and this government made a lot of promises and they couldn't fulfill these promises. And they don't want, they're living in, the, in, in a matter of maybe 44 or 45 days, they will be living. And that means the burden will be passed on to the next administration. And it's only fair that you give the next administration some time to operate, a little window to operate before they can start paying bills that the previous government has incurred. So they want to do this now because it might take longer time. And there are being old areas of about 32 months of whatever they're asking for, your minimum wage and uh, the implementation and everything, the areas that they were supposed to pay. 32 months is not a small thing. But anyway, 
We'll be touching on all these issues and uh, so much more. But after uh, this break, we'll just take this break and watch what the aviation uh, people were doing to uh, register their grievances. Yeah. 